Good morning, Fenlanders. Welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. I am Anna. That is Daniel. Hello. And on today's video, we are. Ba -ba -ra. What are we doing? Trying not to drop the sprayer. Trying not to drop this sprayer. Wish us luck. Should be good. <laughs> if anyone's going to die, it'll be you because I'm not getting underneath it. Joking. Joking. No one's going to die. So, so far, we did just do a little live, guys, and we did just say obviously what we're doing. Daniel is taking the wheel off. And you've got what in here is it that, that needs that needs <laughs> fixing? Yeah, a, a suspension joint needs changing. So a suspension. Yeah. Is it a bearing gone? Did you say? Bush. A bearing. A, a bush. A bush. Not a bearing. No, no a bearing. Bush. And you know that it's gone because there's that what that bit of rubber. Yeah, come out. the seals come out. So once the seal comes out. Yeah. You know the bush inside there is fairly worn out. This side's okay. It's always the back ones come out. I think. That one is out. At the back. Yep. But not at the front, let's have a look at the front. Yeah, the front one's fine. Yeah, this is what we're doing today, guys. It is raining, it's cold, it's meh. It is so dark today. It was like, you know when, you, when you're driving along and it's like that horrible, like, I just want to go home and get under the covers with a hot chocolate kind of dark feeling? Yeah. It was just like that today. So, Granddad's given up. I don't know where he's gone. So we're just in here doing this because obviously your sprayer won't pass its test. Yeah. Is it like an MOT test? Like it's a neuro... Yeah, pretty much. Neuroso? Is it Neuroso? No, it's just a NSTS. NSTS. Oh. Yeah, National Sprayer Trainer. Uh, I knew it was something to begin with. Certificate or... Yeah, that's what we're up to, guys. I know, it's just... Um, I've got to remember how to do this. I don't want to... So I think I've got to let all the air out of the axles. Obviously, it's more you keep letting out and moving the thing while it's on a jack. Is it not good for it? No, it's just a, it unsettles everything. Oh, okay. Do you want me to go rub its nose? No. Do we just go check it so it's not like a horse? There, there, sprayer. There, there. By the way, when did you become a millionaire? I heard in one of the comments yeah, that you're, yeah. you're a multi-millionaire now. <laughs> Uh, what are we all still doing here, people, if we're multi-millionaires? One of the comments was, it's good to see, uh, like, you guys who are millionaires doing, like, the, the grafting, like, when we were cleaning out the drains. Um, yeah, no one around here is a millionaire. Hate no, to tell you. No, Hate to tell not. you. It would be nice. We, we do do the lottery, so maybe one day, maybe, but... Not today. Not today. Now I've taken the weight off the wheel, the wheel's off. Yeah. I'm blowing all the air out of the system. Yeah. Obviously these... Airbag pump up. I don't want to keep moving it around while I'm got it jacked up, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I've done it before, so. To be fair, I'm pretty impressed with your credentials. We did just say on the live, and obviously I'll tell you, I'll, I'll inform you guys as well. We did just apply for a job for Daniel. He's not going anywhere, don't worry, guys. So I had a look on, I was just flicking through Instagram, uh, probably last week, maybe the week before, and I saw that the Farmers Weekly are looking for a podcast host. Yeah. And I don't know what your chances are. I, ha I bet millions of people have applied for it. Loads of people have probably applied. You, you just don't know. Who knows? But, you know, if you don't know, you don't apply, you're not going to be in a chance, are you? So I've literally this morning... You've got to be in it to win it, as they say. So this morning I've been on my laptop... Tip, tip, done Daniel's CV. But yeah, you've got like quite a colourful mechanical background. So if anyone knows what they're doing, it's be, it'd be you and well, Dad. So, yeah. Dad. Dad's done a lot. If, but if the sprayer falls over, remember I do the Team, team, team America Team <laughs> signal to let everyone know. <laughs> if you've watched Team America, you'll know what you we're talking really about. You can't really put an axle stand on this thing either because it's so high up. But that's why I just put an axle stand on the wheel. I mean, if it does fall off, then run that way. Okay, cool. I'm going to stand back just in case. Yeah. Um, there, I mean, them stands, the, the sprayer jack stands are all tested and certificated and stuff. So it's just I didn't want to... When, you, when you've got something up high, yeah. and then you let the air out, it goes down. Yeah. But now I've got a jack on the back here, it goes like this. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, it changes the angle of everything. These have been off, not recently, but a couple of years ago, I'd say. Because when I go over the bump down Powell's Road sometimes, yeah. it's not great. Right. The front dips down, and yep. the back comes up, and as it comes up, it pulls the, pulls the seal. You've got really colourful credentials. Ha has Dad got as many qualifications as you have, or has he just got the experience? Yeah, I think Dad's a qualified welder, fabricator, electrician. I was going to say, he's an electrician he, as well. He was. I think he'd done a night class, night school for electronics and stuff, so... 
He probably wouldn't pass now. However, he's he's got enough electrics knowledge to get by with everything round here, hasn't he? Yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty and, handy anything breaks, he knows what to do. Need a 19 mil spanner. Oh, okay. Doing your CV. Done quite a lot. You went like you worked for a racing team for a while, like travelling around the world, didn't you? Uh, yeah. That's quite yeah, cool. Like travelling around a fair bit, yeah. It's pretty good. Meeting loads of rich people. So one of them sadly no longer with us, but he was hilarious. Captain right. Harry thought he was an RAF pilot, but he was German. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he had uh, RAF, RAF um, things on his shoulder and he had a Union Jack on his... Um, but he was German? He was German. He, he sounds like he was hilarious. He was a hilarious, yeah. He was a proper good sport. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. You right? Covid. <laughs> um, I don't know how long you can keep saying that for. It's like the eBay thing when that first came out, wasn't it? What? Transformers. Where'd you learn about that? eBay. <laughs> Yeah, so no, he was fun, and then there was a fashion designer as well. One of the drivers was a fashion designer, he was pretty good. I still, oh, wow. still talk to Simon and Simon, two Simons. So yeah. Simon, Simon messaged us the other day and said he can't get enough of the YouTube channel. So oh, I love it. Well, well worth it saying hello to Simon. He's, um, he's obviously taught you a lot of what you know now then, has he? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so they're, they're off doing their racing and stuff. And and Simon said he can't get enough. I'm learning loads about farming, so. Oh, love it, love it, guys. Well, it's really good that um, we're, we're educating someone. Yeah, educating somebody. <laughs> educating then, myself every day. And then, um, of course, then, was it about 2005 you came back to farm? Yeah. Because, unfortunately, our uncle had an, a car accident. He, he, Uncle Anthony was Dad's main, like, kind of assistant, like what you probably are. Yeah. now but yeah. he was more like just kind of doing the farm inside of things as opposed to the fixed inside of things i think but he had a car accident and yeah unfortunately broke it he, he broke his back didn't he, I don't know what he but did. he did he yeah he's he's absolutely fine now but he you know he, he did get in into a bit of a pickle but then that meant daniel then came back yeah. on farm here we are haven't looked back since since 2005 fixing fixing farming mostly fixing I'm now going to pressure wash Little Red. So, I'm not really the best at pressure washing down. However, Daniel said yesterday, go over it once, all over, try and get it like a little bit wet and it's kind of raining outside anyway, so that will help. And that just helps to like get everything like off it a bit better. So yeah, got a little bit of a tip, some tips and techniques. But yesterday I was pressure washing the sprayer down and I was wearing my little goggles because I hate it all splashing in my eye, as you guys know. And they just kept getting teamed up. So there must be a better solution than doing this. I need to find a bit, a bit of a better solution. But for now, this will do and give Little Red a little bit of a once over. Right, next thing I've got to do on my list, I think, is take this big bracket off here. Uh, what have we got here? 130. Uh, Grumps has got my uh, ratchet spanners somewhere. I don't think these are too difficult to do. I'll just keep plodding along and taking bits off. I know I've got to take this bracket off. That's the wrong way around. And then what I've got to do is I'll get, this, get this bracket off. And then I've got to pump some air into the airbag. And then I've got to keep tapping this so it comes off. And I don't think it's too difficult to do. So that's one bracket there off. I might draft in Grumpster just to, to tap up and not, not hit the, not hit that. This bracket just holds all the air compensators on. And that is a 10. You might find a 10. Yeah, that's why they make me You guys okay? Just hit the deck. Well, well, well. Oh no. The front screen's froze. Oh, there we go. You can't even see it. There we go. Gives you some idea of what I'm doing now. Get this bracket off. Get it out of the way, because obviously I've got to take this bracket off and knock the seals out. So normally this would take you a couple of hours to do, but I'm already on the go slow today, anyway. Yeah, woke up with... Um, little to no enthusiasm and it's running out fast. If anybody else gets like that, then that's me. 
Let's back it all out of the way then, and I'm nearly there. And I've just got to remember then how to, um, I think you have to pump the airbag up so there's loads of air in it, and then you've got some pressure to break the seal if you like. Yeah, the air compensator, I took them off this morning. I'll, I will show you when I put them back on. The air compensator goes, brackets on there, and then a, a lever on there, and it goes up and down, and as it goes up and if it goes down, it puts more air, and if it goes up, it lets some out. Me being me, I took it off and then forgot all of what I was doing, and the uh, airbag was blowing itself up. Like, ah, what's going on? Stop doing that. <laughs> stop, stop it. While I've got these off, I will just change, I'll change the whole lot anyway. So I've got to leave them on a couple of turns, I do know. And then I should be able to blow the airbag up by putting some air in it. What I think I need to do is take my airline out of this end. There we go. Put it in there. There we go. Always give you the shit <laughs> yourself. Ah! The one off, two off. So that bit, if I take the bolts out of the bottom of the airbag, like so, this should all just lift off. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Ah, not the lightest of things. I don't even know if that's going to go through there. Come on, compress. Every time I lift it up, it comes out like a accordion. Will it come out? Oh, I think so. Oh, there we go. We got it. And I've got to undo that. And that should come off. Oh, that's bigger. Yeah, it's steady. That's too big. Dang it. Yeah, the other day I couldn't find a 32 mil spanner for love no money. And now I've got four 32 mil spanners and not one 30. Nah, that one's that tight. They don't need to be that tight. They don't come loose. They just, um, they can't, they can't come out, if that makes sense. There's not another one in there, is there? No, that is it. Right, I'm going to go and have some docky, guys, and I will get some penetrating oil. Leave that soaking over uh, docky time with a bit of penetrating oil in it. Cheers, Fernandez, I'll uh, reconvene in a moment. Sorry, guys. It got quite wet. Sorry about that. Just went in and said to Daniel, while I'm gross and all like sticky and wet, I might as well go get the 190 and do that as well. Does it even look like I've cleaned it? Doesn't even look like I've done anything. It took me ages. Right, new tactic, I think. Do under the wheels, perfect first. Because I think that's what happens is if you start doing too much, all the stuff from the wheels just comes back, like just splashes straight back off. So, right, let's have another try with the 190. and clean. Definitely think the rain is helping me. It's working in my favour, getting rid of those last little bits. But yeah, you think you've done it. You think you've got it just really nice and clean. And then you look back and you go, oh my god, it looks like I've not even done anything. Like, why? Yeah, I kept thinking, oh, it looks so good. And looking back, I was like, have I even been there? But yeah, definitely a bit better than the one I did the McCormick, so I'm getting a bit better. Little baby steps. All right, guys, I'm just going to back this back where I got it from. Uh, he's now chucking it down. It's horrible out. And I am drenched. I just said, Daniel, I'm going to have to get something. So when I'm doing this, I've got like a different pair of overalls because I am actually drenched right now. Yeah. 
What now? Uh, I gotta put the wheel back on. Oh. Yeah, I, I tried to turn the wheel off prematurely. Have you figured out what, how to do it? Yeah, yeah, when you got the weight of the wheel hanging on there, uh -huh. it just helps that crack. Call to the person that knows, and off we go. What's, what's next? So put the wheel on. Yeah, put the wheel on, and then I've got some weight. Weight to help the crack, and then once I crack that, once that cracks, that comes off, and I can just change the bushes and start putting them back together. Nice. If your back didn't hurt before, it does now, right? Yeah, pretty much. It would help, but I'm eating. That's a shame. I'm eating. Can't help. <laughs> I'm trying to dry up a bit. I will scrub my face and I'll come help. Stop being a loser. Right, I realised my mistake, Ben Landers. I turned the wheel off. Didn't do a very good job of cleaning that wheel, did you? But what? you didn't clean that wheel, wheel very well. <laughs> I haven't cleaned that wheel. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're putting the big 710s on the sprayer. I'm also doing the suspension bushes in there. So I took the wheel right off and called to somebody that knows I haven't done one of these for about five years and as you all know I would have drunk a lot of beer since then. That beer there, I've got a two <laughs> Jesus! <sighs> that ain't working. Trying to get that middle suspension strut to drop out the centre of the uh the centre with the weight of the wheel hanging on there as well and it just ain't moving not even with lubrication and everything as they say in farming nothing's ever simple is it so yeah i mean i've got a jack holding the weight of the wheel up so that's enough to lift the car up so that should be enough to lift that wheel up and hold that and support it <sighs> Oh, what the hell? Ow. I lift it up a bit more then, so the weight of the wheel's on there. Oh, hang on, let me put that back in. Right, do you mind if I uh, take the GoPro SD cards out? We'll do it so we can continue. Yeah, can do, yeah. I am uh, halfway through, three quarters of the way through the day, and I'm only like a quarter of the way through my workload. Work, work, work. Yeah, all right. Right, will we get it fixed in part two, Fenlanders? <laughs>